This is 5 Beekman, a stately 10-story building clad in terracotta and red Philadelphia brick. The structure, also known as Temple Court, was designed by Silliman and Farnsworth and opened its doors in 1883. Inside, architects, lawyers, bankers, accountants, surveyors, dentists, detectives, and even the NRA worked in small offices around the building's nine-story atrium. But the last tenant left in 2001, and Five Beekman sat vacant until 2013 when GFI Capital and GB Lodging started turning the building and its adjacent Romanesque annex into a boutique hotel. The project also includes a glassy 51-story condo tower next door. Well, hi, my name is Randy Gerner, and uh, I'm the architect for this building at uh, Five Beekman. And it was developed in a way that used a technique of ornamental design in it. It created ornament in order to create a sense of comfort for what was considered a rather unorthodox building. From a stylistic point of view, the building is a neoclassical building. It has Renaissance roots, and most importantly, it has Queen Anne roots as demonstrated by the two towers that exist on the top of the building. Now we're in the original Temple Court building. We're unearthing the original polychrome design attitude that was prevalent in the design of the atrium, and we're recreating it. And so behind me you can see a section of our mock-up where we're, where we're recreating the original moldings that might have been around the office fronts, recreating the glass, looking at and recreating the colors. So you can see that the atrium is supported by a whole series of brackets. These dragon brackets essentially not only are a decorative element, which we all agree that they're very beautiful, but also, in fact, support the floors that, that we're standing on. Since this building is, is a historic property, and since it is such a glorious building, we felt it was really important to keep all of the mechanical and electrical systems that support a modern building out of this building and put it into the new tower. The X-Brace floors uh, serve multiple duty. Those are in fact all of the machines that run the new building as well as the old building. All of our air conditioning systems and all of our electrical systems, our plumbing systems, are all located in those large X braces. We borrowed patterns and configurations and other elements to bring into the architecture of the new building so that as you see the cast in place concrete columns on the exterior of the building, we borrowed that casting, in fact, from the casting that you see above, you, above me here in the atrium. Everything is really open to this atrium, and in fact, this is going to be the heart of the building. You'll see the visual connection to the elegant restaurants. You'll see the wonderful sky and clouds crossing the top of the skylight over the atrium. Now we're on the, the, the roof of the historic temple court, and behind me you'll see two of the the Queen Anne Towers that grace the top of the building. One of the things that is most important about these two Queen Anne Towers is they in fact set the precedent for all of the tops, all of the graceful tops that you see on the historic buildings throughout New York City. And so now what we're doing is we're going to make these two of the most premium rooms in the hotel. It is going to be one of the most sought after rooms, I think, in New York City. I think we're consistent with the overall idea of that, that this, as a complex of buildings, three buildings, has evolved over the course of 130 years. And this is, in fact, the latest addition to that evolution.